Nobody ever asks you how you have so much time to scroll Instagram and TikTok, but they will ask you, how do you have so much time to read? Not having a social life helps, but other than that, I thought I would try this week to swap my phone screen time for reading and see how many books I can read this week instead of sitting on my phone. Day one. Today I have to hit three and a half hours because that's how long I spent on my phone on Monday. And I'm going to be reading Fourth Wing on my Kindle, the book that's exploding on TikTok. It's like a fantasy romance. It has mega high ratings on Goodreads. I'm about to be done with chapter one. Let's start this. Cheers. You got someone new, I know it. Yeah, yeah. But I will Good morning. Yesterday I completed my exact three hours and 40 minutes of reading. I got 28% into the fourth wing. I am thinking that this book is kind of long. The paperback is like 500 pages and I think the Kindle version is 600 something and it says I'm on page 192. So that was a long time reading and I'm only 30% through a book. So good thing I'm doing this challenge. My screen time last Tuesday was four hours and 18 minutes. So that is how long I am supposed to read today. That's a long time. Even if you break it up, it's a long time, but I am actually loving this book. I tried to find a physical copy and I couldn't find one because it's selling out everywhere, but it definitely reminds me of Divergent. A little bit of Throne of Glass. I'm excited to get into it today. So let's start reading. What's up, DD Dogs? I'm texting my friend Destiny because she's also reading Fourth Wing and she's loving it. Apparently I'm at her favorite part. I'm 32% of the way in. I don't know why it's her favorite part. I think the hype is real. The hype is for a good reason, I'm pretty sure. I do love reading about dragons, that's for sure. I don't think I've really ever read about dragons other than in Air of Fire from the Throne of Glass series. It's getting good. She's making progress in dragon school. Hey, it's day two and I read for four and a half hours. Ryan just got his wisdom teeth removed. <laughs> so I haven't vlogged much of it, <laughs> but I have been reading and I got to 61% of the fourth wing and it's really good so far. Reading about dragons is still the most epic thing I've ever done. This book definitely feels long. It's kind of weird to read such a long book on Kindle and not really know where I'm at, but I think I have like 230 pages left, but it feels like I've read a full book already. So I might just keep on reading and we can just start adding time to tomorrow's. Maybe, possibly. Welcome to day three of swapping phone screen time for reading. I did check what my screen time was for Wednesday and unfortunately it was high, which means I have to read for a long time today. It was five hours and 19 minutes. That's a long time. And I am now 65% through fourth wing. I called up some bookstores today to see if they had any copies of them and they're sold out everywhere. I should have acted faster because I really want the paperback of this or not the paperback. I really want the physical version of this so that I can see how many pages I read because it feels like a long book, but I don't really get the satisfaction of feeling like I read a long book, but I'm really loving it so far. I woke up very excited to just spend my entire day reading and I haven't felt like that in a while. So it's a great feeling. I don't even really know where the plot is going or what we're building up to, but I saw that she posted a TikTok saying that she so far has it plotted out for five books, which is crazy. So this is one of those series I'm gonna be reading throughout like five years, I guess, which is actually crazy to think about. Let's start the timer. I'm already at 24 minutes, so let's keep going today. Boop. Ah! Wild. Need someone to hold my horses. Hey guys, it's the next day and I feel like I have suddenly fallen ill, but hopefully not. I just randomly got body aches, so I'm gonna lay here. I reached five hours and 20 minutes last night and I finished The Fourth Wing. I actually have so many thoughts about that book. I feel like the relationship in it started to remind me of Juliet and Warner from the Shatter Me series, which I'm obsessed with their relationship from that series, but it had way, 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 way more cringy lines in it. Whereas in Shatter Me, I didn't find their relationship cringy at all. So yeah, there were like, there were quite a few lines where I was like, this is cringing me out a little bit. It's also so interesting because Rebecca Yaros also wrote this book, which I own and I was gonna read, but it's like a historical fiction romance book. So super interesting that she's writing a very different genre for her. I couldn't really tell if I thought that the action scenes were written well or if I liked it as much as everyone else did because this book was like super, 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 super hyped. And I think I am going to give it a four stars because I definitely wanna read the second book from the ending and everyone was saying the ending was crazy and I did kind of guess what would happen, but I still liked it. Today, I am going to start The Grace Year and I don't know how many hours I'm supposed to read today. I have to look, but this is like a dystopian young adult book and I'm so excited about it because people who read this love it, but it's just not that talked about. But the ones who do read it, 
It's like five stars all the way. And I love dystopian books, so I'm gonna get to reading today. Cause I go fast, yeah, I go hard. Wanna find some peace, so I pray to God to find a way to fix it all. Yesterday, I read for six hours and 18 minutes. That was so good, and it was because this book made it so easy to. I think I was like 30 pages in, and then I just finished the entire book. It was so good. It is YA, so I feel like the text was like nice and large. It was 400 total pages. And also, it's one of those books where you have no idea what's going on. And so I was just trying to read through it super fast that I could finally have the satisfaction of understanding what was going on. It just feels like there's a plot twist coming for so long, and I just had to keep reading. It was so good. It was so scary, though. I'm kind of shocked that it's YA because sometimes it would be so disturbing and so graphic and I was like, kind of terrify me. So if you're easily spooked and you don't like anything scary in your books, don't read this one because this one I could not read at night. But it's kind of like The Handmaid's Tale and Lord of the Flies combined. So I'll see you tomorrow for more reading. The last day of swapping phone screen time with reading. And in between filming this, I read Red Rising by Pierce Brown. It's a sci-fi book, which I never read sci-fi at all, but it was marketed to me as Hunger Games in the Sky. So I read it. It was much more than that, but it's a good synopsis to get you hooked. And I absolutely loved it. I gave it five stars, but low key, I think it's entering my six star category, which has not happened to me in so long. So I was so happy to be reading this book. So I just ran to Barnes and Noble and bought Golden Sun, which is the second book in this series. There's actually gonna be seven books in this series. A new one comes out next month, which is crazy. I thought this was like a trilogy that's completed already, but no. So I've already read for 39 minutes today so I'm going to resume the timer and I have a coffee and I'm ready to go. I'm so excited. Everyone loves the sequel so much. Here we go. My heart is breaking so I'm faking every smile. for my sci-fi era. It's actually the next day. I failed at reading uh, as much as my screen time yesterday. So here's my second attempt. I'm 30 pages into this book and it's so good already. I would have never guessed that I would be reading about ships exploding in outer space and be having the best time of my life. Could have never guessed it. Also, I just got like a 64 ounce Diet Coke because I went to the gym today and I'm so tired. On leg days in particular, I just cannot. This is so, <coughs> it tastes like a styrofoam cup. Okay, shall we try this again? Oh. I was watching Kelsey's podcast. It's the next day. Guys, I only read for only. This is still crazy. I read for two minutes. I read for two hours and 40 minutes yesterday, which is so much, but it was not the equivalent to my phone screen time. So I'm trying again today, but I'm just gonna add up the times because realistically, I won't be sitting here for five hours reading. I don't know what's gotten in me, guys. I haven't been able to do it the past few days, but I'm still reading Golden Sun. I'm now on page 108 and it's so good. I just feel like this entire series is going to be a six star series for me. So I will have no complaints having to read this book for hours today. Taste a recipe human for a while Just be human for a while I miss the boat, yeah, I know it uh, All alone Good morning guys. Finally completed it and I read for four hours and 56 minutes yesterday and I got to page 228. I think my reading is a little bit slower for this book because it's sci-fi and the words are, I feel like they're smaller on this page, but this is the sixth day of reading and I feel like a YouTuber week is like five days. But at this point, I just wanna finish this book. So I'm just going to read for as long as possible today and hopefully finish this because this is about 440 pages, I believe. And that will probably take me five hours, so. Okay to the car for a good reading sesh. I'm gonna listen to some Taylor Swift. And I'm just gonna sit here and read. Welcome to conclusion day, folks. I swapped my phone screen time for reading for seven days. One of those days was a failed day, but here are the stats. On Monday, I read for three hours and 37 minutes, 185 pages. Tuesday, four hours, 30 minutes, 210 pages. Wednesday, five hours, 20 minutes, 297 pages. Thursday, six hours, 18 minutes, our longest day, 370 pages read. Friday, four hours, 56 minutes, 220 pages. And Saturday, 420 baby, 260 pages. I read three books in total. Fourth Wing, gave it a solid four stars. The Grace Year, YA thriller horror dystopian, four stars, but like, well, are they equal? 4.25 stars. 
perhaps. Really like this one. Definitely a unique read for me. And Golden Sun by Pierce Brown, second book in the Red Rising series. Adult sci-fi. Don't think I've ever read that genre. Five freaking stars, baby. I love this series. I can't wait to continue it. My reading for June is looking up now that I've done this challenge. I highly recommend. Let me know what you're reading. But until next time, I'll catch up with you guys on Instagram or my vlog channel or somewhere else on the internet. Bye!